What's going on YouTube? Lock and load one time for the one time. This is your boy JR. About to get into this week 14 schedule. About to give you my predictions on who I think wins and who loses on this upcoming Sunday. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. I am. So far so good. I hope you are doing the same. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I sure the hell would appreciate it. I sure the hell would appreciate it. Now let's get right into it. Let's go right to the big game. Big game in the morning. Over here on the West Coast, on the East Coast at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Cowboys at Washington. Big time game in NFC East. Washington coming on strong. They think they trying to take out the big dogs. But hey, you know what it is over here. Cowboys Nation all day, every day, twice on Sunday. Cowboys get the big time dub in Washington. I'm not going to give you a score because I'm not just going to do that. I have a score in my head what I would want it to look like. I'd want my boys to go in there, take care of business, and get the hell out of Dodge in that shitty ass stadium that they call FedEx fucked up field. Cowboys get the win. Moving on. Seahawks, Texans. Seahawks looked good last week. That was probably Russell Wilson's best game since being back since the fucked up injury to his hand. He was looking real shaky till last week. He said, look here, I'm Russell Wilson. He said, yeah, I am. He looked at the mirror. He said, yeah, you are Russell Wilson. And he finally fucking played like it. Give me the Seahawks against the Texans. And they start coming on strong on this playoff push here in December. Let's go on to the next game. Saints, Jets. Give me the Saints. But very, very close. The Jets have something going. They have something going with Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson came on real strong against the Eagles. They just couldn't keep it going for four quarters, but they show flashes. If you're a Jets fan, hey, you put a little bit of talent around the kid. He got a nice arm on him. You know, he got that baby face. He looked like, you know, you don't know if he's a high school kid or NFL player. You don't know who the hell he is. But the kid is a baller. We put some pieces around him. Put a back around him. Give him something to work with here. All right? And let's see what goes on in the future. That's what I'm saying with the Jets. Jets need to use these draft picks and get cooking. But... As of right now, I think the Saints win, if I had to put a score on it, real close. I'm going to go 23-20 Saints against the Jets. Let's go on to the next game. Ravens, Browns, big time game. Ravens looked like shit uh, uh, last week. Uh, uh, Lamar Jackson, who was in the MVP hunt, not looking like it's right now. Even though the numbers look you know, nice, but not nice. But he's it's throwing. It's still a little shaky. Uh, and that's just saying, at best, shaky. Uh, he had the chance to win the game against the Steelers at the end. And it, it just a little off pass. Even though Andrews should have had it. He should have put two hands on it. He, you know, he kind of short-armed it. He kind of alligator-armed it. You know what I mean? He could have had that catch. But for the two-point, it may have been a different story. But as a team, as a collective, they're not looking really good right now. A lot of injuries. Marlon Humphreys looking, you know, he's out for the season. That's their best corner. One of the best corners in the league. He's a dog. He is a real dog. And that's a huge loss for him. They've been, how they've gotten this far with all these injuries, I have no idea. That just goes down to coaching. So you just give tip your cap to John Harbaugh. Because that's just pure coaching. But uh, in this game right here with the Browns, even though they're struggling a little bit, Baker Mayfield ain't trying to get that big time deal for next season. Not looking very likely. They're probably going to probably... Uh, Dak Prescott him and franchise tag him to death, <laughs> a.k.a. Kirk Cousins him to death. But uh, I'm going to go in this game with the Browns. I think the Browns get the big-time dub with the run game with Chubb, Hunt, um, and I think they get it done in a close, close game. That's my thoughts on that one, but that's a big-time game and for the AFC North. Um, moving on, let's go to Detroit versus the Broncos. Uh, big time game for the Broncos, uh, you know, with Demarius Thomas, the loss of Demarius Thomas, which was, oh uh, man, what a, what a loss, the NFL loss, as your NFL fan, you know, that really hurt, that really hurt to see that he passed away at such a young age, such a great player, uh, a really, really great player of the, of the young 2010s, you had to be there to see it, and, uh, you know, I was just looking up highlights of how great Demarius Thomas really was in his prime. And him to be dead at 33 years old is really, really sad. So rest in peace to him and his his uh, to his condolences to his family. 
and you know, and to everybody that was close to him, that's a you know so young, so talented. He's just retired, man. You know, let you know that life is very, very short, ladies and gentlemen. Kiss everybody that you love right now, because you just never know that you never know that you may not never see him again tomorrow. And that's the God honest truth. Can I get an amen? But let's go back to the game. The Broncos are going to be playing with heavy hearts. I'm going to go with the Broncos, and they're going to go off. Detroit got their first win, um, but I think the Broncos are going to take them out. Give me the Broncos over the Lions and a big win for them and for the franchise uh, and for their spirits. You know what I'm saying? So give me the Broncos in that game. Let's go on to another game. Huge game for the Buffalo Bills. Huge game, Buffalo. After that terrible, terrible, sh terrible showing against uh, the Patriots last week in that terrible, terrible, terrible weather uh, against Mac Jones. I'm just going to throw three passes and hey, it is what it is. We're going to run the ball 85 times like we are Navy, uh, offensive Navy in 1922. And it's going to work. And it did work. So y'all need to nut up big time and put some heart, uh, put your heart on your sleeves, put your heart on your pads, do something, damn it. And try to do whatever you can to stop Tom Brady. Because if you lose this game against Tom in Tampa, you can mess around and miss the playoffs. They were huge Super Bowl favorites. Huge Super Bowl contenders to start the year. Everybody was on the Buffalo. Buffalo going to the Super Bowl. Buffalo going to the Super Bowl. Who going to the Super Bowl? Buffalo. Not looking very likely right now. Their ass may not even be in the tournament, a.k.a. playoffs. So, we'll see if the real... Josh Allen steps up in this game. We will find out very, very soon, early in this game. But give me Tampa, okay? Give me Tampa. Buffalo has no running game. Tampa has a running game when they want to use it. But they know they're going to use Big Tom, Mike Evans, Godwin, all those weapons they got. Gronk coming in strong after his injury. And I just don't think they're going to stop Tampa. So give me Tampa by probably two scores. Give me that one. Put that one on the books. Moving on. Let's go Jacksonville versus the Titans. Give me Tennessee. Tennessee bounces back. Jacksonville stinks. Moving on. <laughs> big game Big game in AFC West. Raiders, Chiefs. Raiders need this one in a big way. Chiefs are coming on strong. Chiefs are starting to look like coming into their own. Can the offense come back to life? That's the thing. When does Patrick Mahomes go back to Patrick Mahomes? He's been struggling a lot this season. But something tells me this offense is going to click and knock the living shit out the Raiders. Give me the Chiefs by a lot. By a lot. Give me the Chiefs. And they put their foot down on this division and say, goodbye. Let's go on to the next game, ladies and gentlemen. Falcons, Panthers. Okay, this game right here can go either way. Cam Newton didn't look that well last week. He got benched. And so I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers. They got a better running game. More balance. I just think they get it done. I just think uh, that's all. That's all I got on that one. I just think Carolina gets it done. Not too much analysis on this one. Not too much. But it can't go either way. But I'm going to say a close game. I'll go 2017 Carolina. That's my score right there. Let's go Giants, Chargers. Giants stink. Giants stink. Give me the Chargers. Huge. Huge. Huge win. Uh, I'm going to say the Chargers win by three scores. Chargers by three scores. Uh... Bengals, 49ers, big game. Give me the Bengals. San Francisco sometimes sputters on offense. They just want to run the ball a lot. Bengals look really good as they try to come back at the end against the Chargers. Uh, other than that, Joe, uh, uh, Mixon fumble. But uh, they have a good running game. They got a good rapport. Him and Joe Burrow, they, uh, Joe Burrow and his receivers and everything. They, they when they play well, they play well. When they play bad, they play bad. But I think they start to click, and they get the dub against San Francisco. And San Francisco is going to be fighting for that seventh spot as well. The last game on the docket on Sunday night football, you already know that man Aaron Rodgers going against uh, the Chicago Bears in Chi-Town at Soldier Field. As Aaron Rodgers said, he owns them. I own you. I think the Packers win. <laughs> There's nothing. Hey, Bears ain't that damn good. And, you know, they just don't have that much damn talent to hang with the Packers. Packers are one of the best teams in the league, let alone the NFC, and a team that somebody has to go see in these playoffs. So give me the Packers. Give me the Packers 31, 31 to 10. 
Packers. That is my prediction. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Have a great Sunday, Sunday, fun day, football day. You know how we do. Hopefully all my picks are correct. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. I sure the hell would appreciate it. And I will holla at you later. Peace.